This video is a quick getting started in MATLAB video. So we're going to start out with a new script. I'm just going to easily hit new script and start that way. First, I want to start with CLC and clear because I want to start with a clean command window and a cleared out workspace before I get going. So this one is for the workspace and this one is for the command window. If I'm brand new to coding and I don't know where to get started, a lot of times it's helpful to put comments throughout your code. So when I put a percent sign, just know that this is not actually doing anything as far as writing the code. These are just notes for myself. So the first thing I want to start with is my inputs, my givens, what information I'm starting with. And then I'm going to have the process next. And last, I will have the information that will be the output to my code. As you get into more complex code, this template will not work. Um, we'll see when we get into if statements and looping and different types of more complex code that you can't just have your inputs at the beginning and your outputs at the end. Sometimes there will be inputs throughout the process. But just getting started on the first code, it's an easy general rule of thumb. You're going to start with your initial given information. So if I know x is equal to 5, and I have some different variables here. Again, remember with naming your variables, it's helpful to actually put names that are meaningful to you and meaningful to the process. So let's say this is the slope. Maybe I want to use M instead of that, or maybe even I want to say slope if this is a line I'm working with. Just an example. So in this slope, let's say that's the case. Um, and then my process is where I'm going to be doing my calculations. And then we will talk more about how to generate the output and display information, but I can just put the variable here if I want to, I don't need to. You might see all these yellow line, um, yellow and red lines over my equal signs. What's going on here is MATLAB has a recommendation for you. So they're saying terminate statement with a semicolon. Um, and you can just say fix if you want, or I can just add a semicolon and it'll fix that. Now, if you just go adding a bunch of semicolons everywhere and then run your code, remember when you run it, you're going to have to save it. I don't see anything in the command window, but everything did show up in the workspace. So the code did run. So what these semicolons are doing are they are suppressing what's happening. So I unsuppressed why and now I'm seeing the output in the command window. So again, we'll talk about formatting the command window um, with different information in a future video, but just getting started, it's helpful to have your inputs here in a category. You can just label it, say inputs, and then we can have our process, and then the output is at the end. As it gets more complex, again, that system will break down, but this is a good place to start. If you want to see the information in the command window, just don't put semicolons on the end of everything. And yes, MATLAB's still going to make the suggestion, but then I can see the whole process in my command window. So I see everything being assigned to the different variables. I see what happened when it calculated, and I see the output again because I put Y a second time. So this is a good place to get started.